Harper here. Today I'm making one of my husband's favorite dishes. <laughs> it's a beef mince pie. I actually have about four pounds of ground beef here and I've cooked it with onion, uh, no salt herb seasoning, salt pepper, and I think that's about it. So I just cooked it. Now this is not all for the pie. You know I like to combine meals. So a lot of this is gonna be for bolognese. And I'm not gonna show you how I do that because that's in almost every freezer meal video that I do. But I'll probably make two packets of bolognese for the freezer. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the rest of it. So I'm going to take about one pound of um, the ground beef mixture that I already cooked. And I'm going to put it in this um, pot on medium heat. So to this, I'm going to add one tablespoon of flour and one beef bouillon. Just going to thicken the pie a little bit. That, I'm going to add a can of stewed tomatoes. Now I'm adding peas, chopped carrots, and uh, peeled potatoes. You can get the ones that are frozen and you can just cook them or you can get canned ones, you could get fresh ones, it's up to you. Whatever you have is fine. Just make sure they're pretty much cooked, uh, especially the potato by the time you put it in. Mix this up for a while until it thickens. Okay, so there's actually many ways that you can make this. If you don't want to use flour, you can also make a pre-made gravy, like a beef gravy and you could put that in there and that can thicken it up and give it a really nice sauce. That's really good too. But I find just the, the bouillon and the flour combined with the tomato makes a nice thick sauce. Okay, while that's cooking, I just wanted to show you, um, I covered a pie pan with puff pastry. So you're gonna need two sheets of puff pastry or you can make your own um, pie pastry. I'm gonna be using puff pastry for convenience here. So I've covered this pie pan with puff pastry and I've rolled out my second one ready to go. Here comes the fun part. I am going to put the meat into the pie. That, that looks so good. Uh, make sure the potatoes are distributed evenly. You don't want them all in one side of the pie so you can kind of mix it around and make sure that it's all even. Oh my goodness, <laughs> this looks really good. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna put the lid on the pie. So just cover it with the top of the puff pastry. And you can seal this in whatever way you like. I'm going to use a fork. Now I'm going to brush egg white on the top of the pie. Trim the excess pie crust. I like to save the excess pastry for the kids to play with and they just like rolling it up and everything, so I'll save that for them. I'm going to cut some slits in the top of the pie and this will help it to air out. Probably do four. Just gonna brush it one last time. Into the oven it goes. This is going to be cooked um, at 350 degrees for about 25 minutes. Hey, this is what it looks like after it came out of the oven and it's golden, the pastry is puffed up. It looks so good. I'm going to cut it open right now and we're going to have it for lunch. You cut into the crust and it's so flaky, but firm, which is good. Perfect. And there you have it, beef mince pie. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today on The Daily Connoisseur. I will see you soon. Bye.